completely bad for the environment. Yeah, but they're really great for my skin, so give and take. Jerusha and I have started unplugging the refrigerator whenever we're not home. Doesn't your food go bad? Actually, yeah, it's awful. We've been throwing away tons of stuff. I'm a vegan, so it's basically like driving four Priuses. I play a game at home where I try to use less water each week. Now I only flush my toilet when it's full. Okay, uh, that, that was a good discussion. Last but not least, each branch is now going to have an employee green ambassador to promote sustainability efforts within the store. Ours is going to be Jonah, obviously. A doy. No. Yep. What up, dork? What? Thank you, everyone. Oh, you don't have to speak. I figured as green ambassador, I should uh, serve the badge. It's a button. Calm down. Now is the time to act on climate change. If global temperatures rise by just half a degree more, we will be at the point of no return towards a worldwide apocalypse in less than 10 years. The Obama administration is working... Oh, this was printed in 2009. Well, did we make it? Just looked it up. No, not even close. Oh, uh, no. Somebody should really be paying attention to this. Hey guys, I'm supposed to sign people up for some green initiatives. Anybody feel like helping start a compost? Isn't that where you put old food in a barrel and then stir in poop? Well, that's an oversimplification. Yes. My doctor says if I get meningitis one more time, I'll die. Okay, well, uh, there's other stuff. Uh, this Sunday, I'm putting a team together to plant some trees. Okay. Nobody's paying anybody. So you're just asking us as, like, a favor? I'm gonna waste a Sunday doing you a favor. I mean, no offense, we're just not that close. It's not a... Run it by me. Okay. Or else I could get mad. I'm just kidding. Not totally, because you should run these things by me. Absolutely, and thank you for doing this. Oh, and I do enjoy the occasional episode of Will and Grace. I will tell the rest of us. Thank you, Master. Getting a lot of people to sign up for your little green thing? Yeah, everybody's signing up uh, for recycling. I've got S square pants, Hannity rules, suck it, and yo skanky grandma. That's a solid team. Only real employee to sign up is Joe Nazadouche. Say a little faster. Joe Nazadouche? Joe Nazadouche. Got it. Well done. Thank you. Why am I the only person who cares that the entire planet is falling apart? Oh, come on, you live for this stuff. What stuff? You know, finding a cause, leading a movement, getting to say unacceptable a lot. I'm sorry, I guess I didn't realize that humanitarianism was such a buzzkill. I guess that also means Bono's not cool. Oh, okay, so now you're Bono? No, that's not what I mean. Oh, I see, you're just the Bono of the store. I didn't say I was Bono. All right, look, I'm just messing with you. But it is kind of true, though. I mean, I guess if anybody here was Bono, it would be you. I mean, I guess. Hey, Heather, Jonah thinks he's the Bono of the store. No, 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 that's <laughs> yeah. not, no. He made me, why do I even talk to you? I hate it. Uh, good talking to you, too. I'm Get it? it like the letter yeah, U. The... I got it. All right. Disgusting. Well, it is shaping up in here. I see you opted against the standing desk. You're just going to join a gym you. instead. What? Did you say it was okay for Glenn's pastor to set up a booth in the store? Yeah, he's just handing out little plants. Well, that's how it starts. Then next thing you know, cult leaders are handing out little tiny cups of Kool-Aid. Drink up, everybody. That's a big, dark leap. Look, it's fine. It's just this one time. Plus, Glenn had already told him he could do it, so. Yeah, but you're the manager. You can't let Glenn start walking all over you. You need to come down on him hard. I think you just want to watch me yell at Glenn. This has nothing to do with my personal feelings. Would I enjoy watching you yell at Glenn? Of course I would. Would I prefer to do the yelling? Great question. No. I think it would be more fun to be a spectator. Hmm. Would I judge you if you lost it all and it became physical? Of course not. Would it be our little secret? Okay, Absolutely. Okay, lock the ways. Who switched the white coffee filters with the brown ones that taste like dirt? I, I did. The I just had to do that because I saw someone make, you know, the whole put ice in the glass first, then brew your coffee and then pour the coffee on that and then pour some milk on top of that and then the milk just glides its way down the glass with all the ice and they drink it like it's so refreshing and so tasty, oh my god, 
and maybe it is because they add sugar mm. but coffee in itself tastes yeah i do not like coffee and they said true coffee lovers don't drink it with sugar they drink it like that only and that's disgusting i can still drink black coffee somehow i think i've gotten used to the taste and i don't find it that bitter anymore but coffee and milk without sugar i don't know that doesn't make any sense but it's somehow more bitter than black coffee i have to say it it's disgusting that is why i got ice cream because i knew i'm going to need something sweet to be able to have that and i just for once in my life i just wanted to make that coffee drink that everyone makes on instagram no for sure that i hate it completely from the bottom of my heart i hate it so now next time i see something like that i won't want to do the same thing and i won't crave it i'll instead know that that is fucking disgusting and i can move on with my life oh but i didn't want to have so much sugar and now i have so much ice cream which i'm going to eat because i fucking love ice cream plus i want to get the stupid taste of coffee out of my mouth stupid ice also got wasted because of this i'm sorry ice you have no purpose disgusting coffee sucks nowadays i watch emma chamberlain's videos chamberlain chamberlain and she drinks so much coffee in one 15 minute video she drinks coffee at least five or six times how oh, yeah. um Living through the day, or through two days, but still, that's a lot of coffee, man. And I don't think those people drink coffee with sugar. They literally put that thingy in the coffee machine, the bullet, I think it's called, and the coffee just comes out with milk or with water, and it's even thinking about it is like, ugh, ugh. I'm so glad I don't drink coffee. I save so much money on coffee because I follow a few people that do like coffee on my feed, and they're always trying out new brews and new flavors. And you know, what are some of these? They keep they keep keep coming up with so many variants, like salty. What today I saw something, mocha salt or some crap like that. There are so many varieties of coffee, and if I liked coffee, I would want to try everything. And I would be blowing so much money on that. So I'm so glad I don't like coffee or tea. Like I like tea, but I, I don't really give that much of a shit about it. I can go my life without tea if I have to. Oh God, I'm feeling sick for how much I've had. Because I had it right after lunch. 